guys, it's me, Allison, and welcome to my weekly Meltdowns coverage of AMC's Fear the Walking Dead, episodes one through three. It took me so long, but honestly, this is not my fault. I can't help it if the first two episodes were freaking slow as hell. Sorry, I don't possess that much magic up my ass to pull out to make something magical happen with the first two episodes. I just can't. Basically, if I covered the first two episodes, it would have been like, oh, we're on the boat. Oh, we're off the boat. Going on the boat? Fuck that. We're gonna let people on our boat to help them, but we're gonna go find little islands, and we're gonna go there and expect those people to let us on their island for help. He's not having it. He's not having it. He's got plans. First of all, I don't think that boat belongs to him. I think it belongs to those people that he's talking to. Question whether or not they're really going to Mexico. In my honest opinion, now that we know that everything on the West Coast is gone, I think Mexico's gone. And hey, wouldn't it be something if they made their way all the way around towards Florida and Georgia and all that area? Another thing, these damn kids. Tell you something, if I'd done half the shit that these kids have done so far, mama whoop my ass wants to whoop my ass every time I say the F word on these things. She's not going to put up with that shit either. Using the CB radio as OK Cupid? That poor girl, she's got some deep-seated daddy love me issues. With Chris, Chris has got some deep-seated mommy dead issues. That little fool is jumping in the water with his clothes on, freaking everybody out. And when they ask him, what the fuck is your problem, dude? He's like, I'm just swimming. I just felt like swimming in my clothes. Hey, Chris, here's an idea. Why don't you take your clothes off and swim in your underwear like normal people do in the ocean? Stop there giving everybody a goddamn heart attack. Kid will be back. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Because then we find the plane crash from the web series. While they're there looking for supplies, uh, Chris takes off again. Take, it's like Carl. It's like Carl from season two of freaking The Walking Dead. Hey, here's the thing. Chris goes off, finds a tell the plane, and all of a sudden, I'm like, when did this show turn into fucking Lost? I'm impressed that they all, you know, grew a pair and started fighting the freaking walkers the right way. And my favorite part of episode three was when Nick covered himself in zombie blood, oh my god. I got goose bumps when he did that. I was like, okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And even when he got in that walker's face and did that shit, it didn't freak me out as weird and creepy as it was. It, it made sense, because he was testing the waters of what he could get away with, with the walkers. And last but not least, are you meaning to tell me that I watched all of those web episodes of flight one in the number uh just to have that poor girl and that boy left adrift at sea and just cut that off what was that about pissed because i like that character and i wanted to okay you know what here's the thing this is what's going to happen that girl is going to come back and that karma is going to get strand you watch mark my words may not be this season but it's a coming all right, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week for episode four. It just depends on how or low it goes on the suckage meter or whether or not I do this next week. If you would like a shout out for your Facebook page, please comment below or send me a private message on Facebook. I am on Facebook and YouTube on My Weekly Meltdown. I'm the only My Weekly Meltdown. I'm also the only the.memphis.darling on Instagram. And I am also on Twitter at Summers, S-O-M-M-E-R-S, 1977. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. And I will hopefully see you guys next week. Good night.